Monday, July 30th, 2018. We're currently at my Facebook page. I want to cover a couple of things today. First off, my thoughts and prayers are out to everyone in California affected by the wildfires. Uh, looks horrific out there. The same with Greece. That was horrific. You know, if it ain't burning, it's flooding. Or it's burning and then flooding. Here from this is a uh, a next red site at Dyrus Air Force Base. Now we caught this red pulse last week and the week before, but around the same time. Now I caught a similar pulse last year. This one was at the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Now when I have questions about these kind of radar returns, I often uh, ask. Mr. Billy Hayes here, he's the heart man. He actually helped build many, many of these electromagnetic facilities. He actually helped build the harp. But this is what he has to say about this one. This type of return is often seen after rocket engine tests on the ground. Particulates get trapped under a temperature inversion and pick up an electrical charge after hours of moving over the ground. As the sun comes up over the horizon, it discharges a CME pulse to a highly charged particulate clutter, making it highly visible on the radar, but for a short time. This has often also been seen at the NASA test range near Huntsville, Alabama. You can see a similar result due to chemtrail activity almost daily as a blue circle at or around those next red sites. Now, when he says that, we had a great example today. Uh, right here on the Alabama-Mississippi border, you can see that little circle. And you can see one right here over Tennessee and Alabama. We'll get, uh, scroll back a couple so you can see how they develop. Now, the sun hasn't poked up yet. Here we got 5.11. That's central time, a.m. The sun start coming up. And you'll, you'll see these circles start popping up. One there starting in Kentucky. And uh, southeast Kentucky right there. And then we'll click ahead. And you see it move further west in Kentucky. Down in Tennessee a couple. Alabama. There's one down there in Georgia. And then you can see them. And then you can see how they, how they expand. And that's charged particulate matter. Nanoparticulates from the aviation pollution. Now we'll move right along here. Actually I want to show this graphic real quick so when I'm talking about weather modification you know what I'm talking about. Here's 10 technologies to control the weather. We have ionosphere cuters which is like a harp. Sounding rockets which works with harp because you need the nanoparticulates as a median for harp to work at its best. Satellites uh, lasers, cloud seeders, cloud ionizers, stratospheric aerosol injections, ship tracks, contrails, and water vapor pollution. Now we'll move go back up here. This is from this pulse last week in Texas. Now, if you recall my last video, I showed uh, uh, wind farms, and I said wind farms help help in weather modification to it. It, he doesn't have it on this graphic, but wind farms also help. Now, this return last week is from wind farms, and what he, what Billy told me here was take a close look around the area with Google Earth, and you will find several wind turbine farms creating an electrostatic effect, the ionization of nanoparticulates in the lower atmosphere. Okay, so this. This is an electrostatic charge created by wind farms. And sure enough, I went there with my little energy map. And we go there. And sure enough, all these little green dots are wind farms. Now, we'll just we'll keep moving along here. Move on. Here is a uh, article. Now, I made this meme. It says there's documented evidence that thunderstorms in China vary on a weekly cycle in tune with factory schedules. See more? 
And here is from an actual online study. It says in central China, aerosol absorption is strong, which suppresses convection more on weekdays, which means less rain. Now, in southeast China, aerosols are less absorbing but more hydroscopic, which helps invigorate thunderstorms more on the weekdays. So, the thunderstorms are stronger. Okay, now we'll move on up. Find another example. I made this meme here now because people. I think this one's really the hardest one for people to understand is the electromagnetic facilities. Now here I have a next rad, and here's the your next rads. Your ne all these little blue dots. There's 160 of them across the country. There is a next rad. Okay. Now I found this article online. Here's a quote from it. While the phenomenon of electromagnetic rainmaking is believed to be controllable, the reality is that there is no telling what type of weather can form as a result. Now, I got that from this article here. And where's about the... Here it's saying something about, you know, at what cost, because they they tried this, and it caused a lot of damage. For the, uh, where's the exact quote? Well, I can't find it, but anyway, I'll leave the link so you can read it for yourself. All right, here. According, uh, that's not it. But anyways, we'll move right along. So, now that we looked at that, also here's another, uh, if you want to know why they're engineering the weather, what it, what it really comes down to is, uh, technocracy. They want to control the water cycle, okay? Now, this is all connected. I, I got it all written here, how it's all connected, right? But, and I put, in order to have complete control of Earth's hydrological system, everything that is naturally a part of it must go. That would include, but not limited to, forests on land and the phytoplankton in the sea. So when you see apocalyptic forest fires, no. They are by design. Fukushima and BP Gulf oil spill, by design. Okay, now a couple years ago I found a story about a NASA scientist found dead in a pond in Maryland. Okay, now what she was studying is the role of phytoplankton in the carbon cycle. And what they're finding is, uh, you know, phytoplankton, uh, they're dying off quickly. So we're going to move very right long. They already covered that. Here is uh, most recent. It's wet. Imagine that raining up the east coast again. Uh, move right along. Here is uh, lower level water vapor imagery over North America. You got the monsoon season still going in the southwest there. You got Thunderstorms moving up the coast. Visible feed. It's rained here all day in western Maryland. See all the chem spraying, air pollution here over Indiana, Kentucky. Moving my way. See these storms firing up up over Florida. Look at them cooking there. Now, what this is, this is, you know, they seed, they pump, and then they superheat with your next rads. Now, we'll take a look at these fires. This is uh, from a few days ago. Here is 28. This is from Saturday. I mean, just look at it. Look at it. I mean, I... I have a Facebook friend is actually in Redding, California, and she got evacuated. And my heart really goes out to her. It just it's surreal when you I mean I don't actually know her, but it's surreal when you see somebody actually being affected by all of this. Now here's uh NASA worldview. We'll go back the past few days and we'll just see how piss poor this air quality and all is 
fires. All these little red dots are indicators of fires. And look at look at all this spraying right here, right over top of these fires. Look at this is all from airplanes. Filth. Move right along next day. I mean, so this has been going on for a week. Whew, look at that. I mean, just a string of it moving right eastward. 28th. Oh, that's real bad. That was from this day here. Just cooking. Now, people have their opinions. I mean, I, I'm, I know for sure they're starting these fires on purpose. Agenda. UN Agenda 2030. Depopulation, relocation. And like I said in this article, or here, it's all interconnected. Climate engineering, one world government, genetic engineering, water fluoridation, over vaccinating, destruction of the family unit, Obamacare, the war on terror, the war on drugs, opiate crisis, fracking, police state, UN Agenda 2030, sustainable development, 5G, the smart grid, smart cities, social credit scores, surveillance, capitalism, disaster capitalism, RFID, microchip implants, and cashless society are all interwoven, okay? Like I said, they, they want control over everything. And that is what you call technocracy. They want everything mired. But anyways, that about sums it up. I hope uh, I covered a good bit. You know, like people think this shit's a conspiracy theory. It's not. It's all documented. You can, you can look this shit up. It's out there. It's just people are too lazy. They're... They, they want to remain ignorant and think, think none of this is happening. It's happening right before your eyes every day. Now, yeah, no, back on, the, back on the, the wildfires here, like it was yesterday. Look at, look at this piss poor air quality. Moving up all the way through. Look, more smoke right here. It'll probably reach me here soon. I mean, but this is, this is all now. We'll go. Like, we'll type in, uh, and then I'm done. Direct energy weapons wildfires. And what you're going to see, actually, I can probably just go to my home page and just scroll down. And yeah, look, yeah, first page here, look what you'll see. It's always just the houses are burnt down. Trees might be a little charred, but look at this house here, perfectly slivered in half. So that's another thing if you want to look into is uh I think I got it saved here. Yeah, Lockheed Martin. It's right on our website and you can look it up for yourself. Direct energy weapons. For 40 years, Lockheed Martin has researched, designed, developed, and captured electromagnetic magnetic energy and elevated its power to create innovative Direct energy solutions. We have developed laser weapon, weapon systems, radio frequency, and other direct energy technologies for air, ground, and sea platforms to provide an affordable countermeasure alternative. So, that about covers my video for today. Uh, got any questions? Uh, leave me a comment. Also, that. If uh, you get time, check out this video here by Mr. Jim Lee, uh, The Climate Changers and Water Wars, Technocracy, Geoengineering, and Replacing the Water Cycle. It'll, it'll explain a good bit of this too here in a short video about as long as mine. So that's about it. We'll check back in at a later date.